pneumatic vacuum update. So this is the cream and brown Henry that you've seen with the big mess test on my channel a few videos ago. This thing has now broken unfortunately. So I thought I'd give you an update on my pneumatic vacuum cleaner situation. I've got quite a few models that you haven't seen yet. Starting off with the one on the my right, your left. The cream and brown Henry that you've seen a few videos ago with the big mess test. This thing has now broken because, let me show you this in further detail, hold on. So the way this Henry broke is because I was vacuuming, right? The motor unit now splits apart like this because, see these screw posts right here? They are pretty worn out because someone has actually filled it up with glue because the screws want to go in and the glue works fine for a while until I actually used it for big mess tests and that made the motor heat up because the filter was clogged and then as a result the heat from the motor actually melted the glue and therefore the screws were not holding anymore but when I picked it up the motor housing came loose and now it won't go back in again. I mean the glue modification wasn't a bad idea but it's the fact that I used it bagless and that made the motor heat up and melt the glue that was misuse and then as a result this happened so it it just doesn't hold together anymore but the rest of it's in all right condition yes it is in a bit of a state however this is how it is now so inside you can see the internal wiring that's the on and off switch this is the power socket which is uh just a dummy now it just it's just for show it doesn't actually work because there's no wires in it so i think that could be used for a mila probably if i was to modify these holes and make a Miele plug fit in there for the SEB228. That would be a really good idea, wouldn't it? So I can have that head on Henry. So what I'm doing right now is undoing the three screws. One here, one here, and one on this side. And then I can split this motor unit apart further to actually see the motor inside. One, two, three, split. There we go. So that's the state of the motor now. It's obviously quite dusty because I used it bagless. Because as you can see, that is quite grim. So here it is, the pneumatic motor from the late 80s, I believe. Yeah, it's a bit damp because I had it stored in a damp environment as well. So yeah, this thing is pretty much scrap, as you can see by the state of it. This was 100% clean when I first got it, but now, since I used it for a big mess test, this is what's happened to it. Okay, now that's all screwed up again. Put the cable rewind on the top, fit in nice and snug. And then what you do is refit the upper lid and that's it. Screw it up from the bottom, but I don't need to do that because mine won't screw up anymore. I'm gonna show you what it sounds like now if I plug it in. It does work though. So you can see it's blowing out debris from previous use. So that's a cream and brown Henry. Moving on to the next one, which is the 1993 model. Now, this is one I made out of good parts. If you remember last year, I think it was a year ago now from the car boot sale, I picked up a late 80s Henry with the red plug. It's right over here. And I use that for spare parts. And now I haven't actually managed to fix it up yet. However, my 1993 Henry came with this base, which is now you know what i've left it in the garden as you can see it's in quite a state because this is the corner of my garden where i just keep random parts and because of the weathering this filter has now gone all dirty and grubby and full of algae and the base has gone all discolored as you can see on the inside there's a nicer shade of red on the outside so i swapped the base from the car boot sale henry which is this one right here onto my 1993 one over there and now I've got a nice 1993 model. What I'm going to do now is get the cable rewired from the cream and brown Henry and swap it over to this one to see if it actually works. If it doesn't, I'm not going to bother fixing it any further. Although I'm pretty sure it's probably the cable. So I'll four screws on the base of the unit, flip it over, lift up the lid, and there we are. Wow, look at that. No wonder the cable rewind was stiff. This is what, <laughs> it's not even been fitted correctly. There we go. Get the cable rewind for that one. And then we're going to see if this one will actually work now. Oh, it works. So 
So we've now established that the car boot sale Henry that I picked up a while ago has a problem where it was definitely the cable. And now I've taken it apart right here. The wiring looks absolutely fine, as you can see. Unless the cable's damaged internally, then that's another matter. But the wiring itself looks fine. Right, time to put it back together in its original form. So this is what a cable looks like being rewinded up in a Henry. Pretty cool, isn't it? And as for the wiring for the power socket, that's what it's meant to look like. Well, obviously not fully because that capacitor right there is looking a bit crumbly and old. But as for the wiring itself, it looks original to me. So here it is, the Tati car boot sale Henry in its current state right now, in its current form. Very unloved condition. I do like the plug though, that's a nice plug right there. But I'm going to keep that, then get rid of the rest. Right, now that I've shown you these two Henrys, moving on to these two. So the one on the left with the googly eyes, that's the 1993 Henry. It's in pretty good condition, you know. I'm really happy with it. So, because I used the car boot sale Henry to fix this one up, I'm now really happy with the condition. So you got the machine itself right here. Taking a look inside. Here it is in pretty nice condition. You got the shower curtain filter, which is pretty thin. However, apart from that, you know, looking quite nice yeah it is a bit stained but considering its age is not bad i'm pretty happy with it overall it's got a new face kit from another henry that i had so i'll peel the stickers off and put the face on as you can see the wheels aren't too scuffed for its age i mean i've seen worse but it's not too bad although it's pretty scuffed up let's be honest underneath the motor unit the motor's a bit rusty it sounds fine though so that doesn't bother me at all let's plug it in now and show you what it sounds like so as you can hear that sounds perfectly fine well to me it does anyways in case any of you pneumatic experts say oh it sounds rough it's not how it's meant to sound well it is what it is Right, moving on, we've got the 2006 Henry, which you haven't seen before, actually. This model has a place in my heart because this is the very first Henry in my family. This was owned by my auntie, who's owned it since 2006 from new. And basically it broke, so she's got a Dyson ball now. And therefore, this is now mine. So, here it is, the Henry HVR200. Dash 22, I believe. Yep, there it is. From week six of 2006. So as you can see, it's in marvelous condition. I've just given it a bit of a clean up with some wipes and it's looking quite nice. So originally I thought the cable was the issue and the capacitor inside the cable rewind, but I fixed that and it's still not working. So I've discovered that is actually the switch that doesn't work. So, it's a, it does click on and off, but it's a bit iffy. I've taken the switch apart twice now, and it still doesn't work. So, I've ordered a new switch on the way. So, if I was to plug it in right now, and show you, do you know what? I don't know why I'm plugging it in, because there's no point. Since it doesn't work, look. No matter what setting I've got it on, low or high, it doesn't work. So, it's definitely the switch. The motor itself is fine. So, there's that. Now, that's it. Rewind it up and show you the condition on the inside. I don't want to scratch the wheels because this thing's absolutely mint. Well, I've done a bit of damage already, but you know. So there's the base of it. I've given it a wipe. Okay, gently put that down to avoid scratching. There we go. Now this is used, I haven't actually cleaned the base yet. I've just given the exterior a wipe down and that's the most I've done to it so far. So there's a filter. It did have HEPA flows a while ago, I think. But yeah, it's currently got paper bags in it, which do leak dust, as you can see. But that's fine now. The filter will just need a good wash and then it's ready to go with some new HEPA flows. So yeah, not too bad at all. Here it is. The condition is really nice, as I said, overall. So yeah, that's the 2006 Henry HVR200-22 that I'm going to fix and refurb because this is a sentimental machine for me. It's lasted, what? 16 years old or 17 almost impressive not bad in my shed of broken dreams we've got 
as you can see, this is a pretty new site. There's a lot of vacuums you haven't seen before. Some you have seen, some you haven't, like this Argos vacuum, for example, and, you know, just general stuff. But here I have a pneumatic jaw. So let's pull this out because it's a pneumatic video. I use this for renovating when the pneumatic James broke. So let me show you that one quickly first. It's been in the garden ever since it broke. I've got a rubbish handheld vacuum in here, which is also wet. But yeah, that's very, very pond-like. It's just been outside ever since. It needs a new motor, but it probably needs more than that now. Maybe a new switch because it has been outside. So there's that. Let me just empty out the base and yeah, the state of that the motor unit back on as you can see it's discolored a bit because of the weathering conditions <laughs> but it is a nice vacuum it was lovely until it broke i did actually enjoy using this so there's that i'm not going to show you any more of that until it's actually fixed or i might even just smash it up on my second channel now as for the george here it is this is the big daddy amongst the pneumatics that I've got. The thing is with this one, the suction actually wasn't too good on it. I'm assuming that's because the motor is full of dust. Before I got this, someone has actually used it as a wet, sorry, not a wet vacuum, a dry vacuum with the wet kit installed. So a lot of the dust has gone to the motor. Now, if I plug this in, I'll show you what it sounds like. It doesn't sound too bad, but whoa, the pump was on. Okay, so this one's from the year 2016, as you can see, week 23, 1200 watt max. It's got the earlier style handle on it, the nice metal one, whereas the new ones are plastic. And it also has a parking bracket as well. So this is probably my favourite George base that you can get, which is nice. Now, let's take this apart and show you what's on the inside. As you can see, pretty grubby, pretty dusty, pretty dirty. Here's a filter. Yeah, so I used it with a bag for a bit before I decided, do you know what, this thing's not powerful enough because of the way it's been treated, it's been neglected, and therefore I had to go back to using the DCF7 for renovation purposes. It does work though, so if I switch it on, it sounds fine. So feeling it by hand, yeah, it is powerful somewhat, but it doesn't feel as powerful as a 1200 watt Henry. It's supposed to be as good, if not better, but I feel like it's very, very, very slightly less powerful than that. So yeah, I'm not gonna bother fixing this because I haven't got the time or patience, and also it's, it's in quite a state, and I'd rather have a better condition one than this. So this thing's also gonna be destroyed on my second channel, so be sure to subscribe to my second channel, Power 7862, for further vacuum destruction. And finally, I've got the 160 that my auntie gave me. So, this one right here, it works fine. However, uh, you know, because I've already got a 160, I don't have a need for this one. And if you're wondering why it's got a different plug on it, it's because I got a Hetty 160, and it came with this cable and plug and i wanted to keep that original because i already got two 160 henry's and therefore i swapped it over to make this one now this one i definitely don't need so this one will also be getting destructed on my second channel but if i plug it in right now and show you this machine in action the light comes on it all works very well however using it bagless once and then <laughs> I forgot to empty it and it's been stored for a while in a bit of a damp condition it's gone all grubby and grotty but yeah it is what it is that's the 160 Henry this one was made in week 12 of 2021 so that's all the pneumatics I've got to show you right now thank you very much for watching be sure to like comment and subscribe I'm your host, Power786, signing out. I'll see you next time.